My name is Corinne. I volunteer with the Leadership Council for the American Cancer Society. I am a relayer and I am a cancer survivor. I want to start by thanking you for your dedication to this fight. Many of us appreciate the opportunity to support an important cause, to provide assistance to those around us in need, to help those who are less fortunate than us. And I'm sure we can all agree that when we see the smile of a child we helped feed or the relief on the face of a single mother in the line at the food bank, it gives us more joy than we would have ever thought. But those of you who are dedicated to the fight against cancer are a special breed. Because of this fight, it often requires years of investment before you reap the benefits. It is a fight that so often the warriors on the front line, all of you, may never meet someone who directly benefits from your efforts, from your commitment. But today, I would like to change that. My story began when I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2016. I was only 46 years old and I was completely healthy. I had no warning it was coming. I went through the emotional roller coaster that only a cancer patient truly understands. Testing, doctor appointments, hard conversations, lots of tears, more testing, and even more testing. That is all before the treatment begins. One of the many tests I experienced was testing for a gene mutation. I was sure it was simply a matter of protocol as I had no family history of breast cancer. Much to my disappointment, I learned I was positive for the BRCA gene mutation. This mutation causes a significantly increased risk of breast, ovarian, and a handful of other cancers. This mutation is passed from parent to child. This mutation is what led me to come to put my hope for a cure for, the, for cancer in the American Cancer Society and their army of volunteers just like you. See, it was funds raised by the volunteers such as yourself that enabled the American Cancer Society to fund the research that led to this discovery. It was this discovery that caused us to know that my daughter should get tested. And it was that positive result that gave her the opportunity to make a choice rather than to allow cancer to sneak up on her. I'm not gonna tell you that her choices were easy. She faced alternating mammograms and MRIs every six months for the rest of her life, waiting until one of those came back positive for cancer. Or she had the choice to take her health into her own hands. So knowing she didn't want her children to see her go through what I went through, knowing that knowledge is power and she could choose her future, knowing it was one of the toughest decision decisions she would ever make, at the age of 23, she had a double mastectomy. So today, I would love for you to have the chance to meet a young woman who directly benefits from the ACS research funded by you and those who came before you. I would love for you to meet my hero, the bravest young woman that I know, my daughter, Annie Torfin. Hello, I'm Annie. I want to thank you for all you do. My hope here at the Hope Hoedown is that you never give up on this fight. My hope is that you know you are saving lives every day like mine. My hope is that with your continued support, the ACS will make future discoveries that provide young women with even better choices than I had today. My hope is that you know you make a difference. Thank you. Thank you all for what you're doing. Keep up the fight. Yeehaw!